What's up, Leo? Leo, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Pink Scorpion Into to Readings. It's your girl, Scorpion Queen, where I come to tell you the truth because the truth tells me. Leo, if you're interested in purchasing a uh, spiritual protection set, if you feel like you're under some sort of spiritual attack, you can email me at pinkscorpionintuitive at gmail.com if you like to um, order a spiritual bath mix for $15. You can email me. Um, and if you're interested in um, booking a personal reading, then inbox me and we'll go over there. Okay. And Leo, also, I do have another channel out there that you can go over and check that channel out if you um, are Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine and um, you're dealing with the karmic I have a channel called the Karmic Circus hashtag Karmic Circus go check that channel out over, over there and subscribe to that channel also okay because sometimes I can't get around to all the signs so that's why I created created that channel to where it's all signs okay and Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine collective reading so if you like collective readings and karmic readings, you go check that channel out too, okay? Now, Leo, please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with your energy, so only take the parts that resonate and leave the rest. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let it go, all right? Coming on out, Leo. Look like you ended a marriage or, some, or a wedding or some sort of celebration. It was a wedding. Um, that you uh, you could have been invited to a wedding and you just didn't go. Um, all these cards flew out, and the first card that came out. This is an event or a celebration. Okay, um, this could it's a celebration weddings. Birthday parties, baby showers, anniversaries, um, award shows, award things where you're getting um, honored, stuff like that, a special event. But if you was invited, you didn't go, or this could mean that you're ending a marriage with somebody or somebody could have proposed to you and you didn't accept a proposal because you don't see this person as a great fortune. Okay. This person, um, they may not have a job or you may not have a job, Leo. Um, you could have realized and found out that this person was false and this may be why you're not marrying them. Mm -hmm. But they don't want it to end with you. But some secrets came out. Something to do with their family. Their family is deep off into some shit. Their family don't like you. Or their family has negative thoughts about you. Because you're the main female. Maybe they want their person or their brother or their son to be um, a player. And he don't want to be a player. You was main female. You could have been a secret to his family. You could have found out that your person had somebody... In the, in the cut somewhere okay you found this secret out and you could have been this could have, you this could have been your fiance but they don't want it to end you ain't signing no no um, wedding certificates because this person was unloyal to you wow. Either they don't have a job or, you know, somebody don't have a job. Or if you both have a job, somebody is not working on himself. And maybe it's it's the person you're thinking about not working on themselves, Leo. So you, you're, you're not marrying this person. You're like, I don't want to marry you. And the universe is happy that you, you've turned down their proposal or you've handed them. They may have they may have proposed to you and now you're giving the ring back. You don't want it. 
because you found out they was false. But they don't want to end it with you. Yeah, you could have terminated a pregnancy or had a miscarriage by this person, by this person. Lost a child by this person. If you if you was married to this person, you divorced them because they were still dealing with their ex. And now this person, they, they are trying to apologize to you right now. They know they're not your main man because they didn't work on themselves. And they had somebody in the cut. They had somebody else. And you found out. Maybe some of their family members told you. Maybe some of his family members or her family members told you that they had somebody else. Trying to use you. So this is a rat that you don't have the strength to deal with no more. A snake rat? Mm -mm. This is why I see why you you uh you ended some shit with them. This person was trying to use you. They had they they could have possibly always been at your house, either wanting to use something, wanting you to do something for them, borrowing something, needing you needing something that belongs to you. This person they may not have had a car, or if they have a car, this is the energy of a person who who don't keep gas in their car, or they don't um, pay the tags to keep the tags up, or if something go wrong with it, they don't fix it. They it just, you know, they don't try to fix it. They just ride around with their friends and shit. And they, so when they use their friends, because this person has a lazy energy, this energy right here is a lazy energy. So while them, they're being lazy, they hanging around, um, they're being lazy around their friends. So they these are this is the type of person they hang around a gang of people. A bunch of rats. They meet up all at different places, houses, at people's houses. Like one day they'll be at this person's house tomorrow. We're gonna meet up over there. And these are grown ass men. It's like they're they birds of a feather, rats of a feather flock together because they they Leave their women at home to hang with each other. They may be a bunch of a bunch of gay motherfuckers. I don't know, but um, this is the energy, and they copy you. They biting, biting off your fruit. They friends be all up in your refrigerator and shit. What Leo cook? Leo, what you got in there to eat? Coming to your house hungry, and your person is allowing all of this shit. You stopped it. And they have the nerves to start treating you colder than a penguin's beak. Now they're trying to apologize and send the letters to you. But you ain't trying to hear that shit. Tell me more for Leo. There's a, another loss of a baby, a pregnancy. Now I don't know if this baby was terminated. Or if you miscarried. But... Um, if it, if when I when I see I have two cards in my deck, and that represents pregnancy. One represents a termination of a pregnancy if it's pregnant, and the other one represents a miscarriage. Now both of them came out, so maybe you had a miscarriage by this person, and then you got pregnant again, and then you realize you don't want the baby, or um, or it could be the opposite. Hmm. Yeah, you could have been, um, you could have a child by this person, and you could have one, that, you know, once you get pregnant again, and then you, like, you found out he wasn't who you thought he was, and 
he found out some shit and it's like now you don't want the baby okay that's somebody it's not for everybody but it's for somebody This person took a risk or a gamble when it came to you by bringing their friends around them all the time. And yes, this was your husband. Some of you, you was married to this person or you was in a long-term relationship. And he mad. He mad. So this is, this is, um, this is a marriage you're ending. Mm-hmm. He ain't talking to his ex no more either. She got she ain't talking to him. His back is towards her, but if she was like the way he's he's mad, but his ex, she ain't saying nothing about the whole situation. Okay. She's the false person that he had in the background and you found out about it. So she ain't she don't care. She was just for the sex. He was just for the sex, but he mad because um, you found out. That's what that is. So, I'm going to stop right there. Leo, if this resonated with you, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell um, so you will be notified when I upload another video. And you can also check out my other channel, The Karmic Circus, right here on YouTube. All right, hashtag Karmic Circus or hashtag throw they ass in the tent. All right,